Hey kids, it's Lisa. Today, I want to share with you one of Jesus' parables. Miss Susan Jackson let me borrow this book and it has wonderful parables of Jesus that are written so that all of us can understand because even Jesus' disciples somehow sometimes had to ask Jesus to explain the parables to him. So our parable today is the smart and foolish builder. And this one comes from Matthew 7, verses 24 through 27, if you would like to read it in the Bible. Two men, one smart and one foolish, set out one day to build houses for themselves. After searching for some time, the smart builder found a clear spot on a solid, rocky ground. Building on the stone was difficult. It took a long time to complete the house. But when he was finished, the man knew that this new home was strong and would keep his family safe from the most powerful winds and heaviest rains. Now the foolish man, he found a nice spot for his house too, on a sandy beach. Building on the soft sand was very easy and took hardly any time at all. He was finished building long before the smart builder and was happy that he had such a nice view of the sea from his house. One day, a big storm came and battered the two houses. The rains fell, the winds blew, and the water rose and flooded the land. The smart builder's house on the rock didn't move an inch, but the house of the foolish builder cracked crumbled and fell down. Jesus said that if we hear his teachings and obey them, we are like the smart builder who built his house on the rock. If we hear his teachings and don't obey him, we are like the foolish builder who built his house on the sand. Jesus is our rock. And if we listen to his teachings and try our very best to follow them, he will keep us safe. So it's easier and takes less time to do things that are easy, like building a house in sand. But it's the hard things when Jesus wants us to do those hard things that are still the right things and will help us weather the storms. I know that for many of you, you're going back to school this week, whether that's gonna be school at home or school at the actual schoolhouse, but you're gonna be getting back into the routine of things. And I used to tell my own children that every year was a brand new opportunity for them to do the right thing and the hard thing, and that was to study as best they can and to do their very best in school. So I'd like to encourage all of you to do the same thing, even when it takes more time because you have to study a little longer or it's more difficult because you have to follow through with a lesson on a Zoom meeting. But I think that Jesus would want you to do your very best. And I pray that you will, even though these are challenging times and the winds are blowing and the storms are surging, but we built our houses on Jesus, our rock. So kids, we're gonna be okay. Bye, kids.